Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Very excited about this one. This is the Z3TA Plus or the Z3TA Plus, depending on which side of the pond you're sitting. Um, it's the new synth from Cakewalk. Uh, longly, long, long what, what would be the word? Longingly anticipated. It's it's fantastic as you would expect if you've uh, ever used the VST version. It's It's pretty much exactly the same. But it's because it's, now designed for touchscreen, it's, it's it's really great. Okay, so we're going to run through some sounds and I'll give you a tour of the synth and stuff. Um, obviously, I haven't had this for long, so um, we have the synth section here with lots of oscillators, six oscillators, lots of ways to control your envelope and filter, filter in for your attack decay sustain and release. Uh, incredibly complex filter, which is really cool, uh, and an LFO. If we go to modulation and an ar arpeggiator, I haven't worked out yet how to put my own arpeggios in, but I imagine you can import the MIDI files by the looks of it, but we'll get to that in a sec. You can modulate, uh, root the modulation everywhere. Everywhere. Okay? And then you have a great effect. So you have distortion, compression, more modulation, which is like your phasing, your flange, and your chorus, and stuff like that. A great delay, an EQ. Uh, a really cool cool thing they've put in EQ as well as a simulator, which will simulate different things like radio, TV, stuff like that. And a really beautiful reverb. And you can root just by holding onto these. You can move the routing around the effects and stuff. So that's cool. So let's get on with it. Uh, it comes with over 500 presets. Um, obviously, I haven't listened to all of them. The arpeggiator is, is incredible. So this first uh, patch will play this one. <laughs> It does sound amazing, doesn't it? Okay, so I've got it hooked up to my little micro key. That's just me playing one one note, one note on the micro key. Okay, so we could. Um... Okay, so you get how that works. Like if we go, if we hit this little button here, is our. Um... Uh, sound browser so let's just oh I don't know let's bang through a few of the sounds okay so if we hit um, quickly over to the arpeggiator here we have our arpeggiator yeah we change a few things on that. Let me quickly show you something about the arpeggiator. Here's your... You can select MIDI arpeggiator. So this is where I'm presuming that at some point, if once you're hooked up, you, do your, you can import your MIDI files. So if we pick like our MIDI arpeggiators from there, then we have a stack of them that will just go up and down. So we could pick one. So basically, that's how the arpeggiator works. You can select from different uh, different watsits. And these are all in the arpeggiator section of the browser. Sound pretty cool, doesn't it? If we don't get on with some of the sounds, 
we're not going to get 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 through. So. <laughs> One of the bases, another one. Okay, so you, you get it, it's going to do great, great, it's going to be great sounds, you know. So if we hit uh, hard leads here. I found some absolutely fab pad sounds as well, really brilliant. Um, let's see. So down here we have our keyboard here, obviously. Um, we have our modulation and uh, our bender. And we've also got this, which is um, our XY pad, which is uh, will work with your accelerometer. And if we hit this little one here, we just take it the full keyboard. The other cool things in here are at the moment we can't slide up and down but if we unlock it we can move up and down like that obviously it's pretty standard stuff the skate has got a hold so you know and let me just change the sound very nice scale over here scale oh, there you have your your key where you have all these all these scales that can uh, be used as well, you can see that there are stacks and stacks, stacks and stacks of them. Okay, so on the sound. Let's have a look at the effects. Actually, what we'll do, we'll pick, we'll, we'll get some sounds that aren't sort of mega loaded with effects. So if we go to um, some nice ones here, we have leads, soft pads, percussion sequences, sh short and plucked simulations. Simulations is nice, and you get a few of them, but they're they're, they're okay. So let's have a look at uh, dynamic flute. Let's have a, a mess around with the effects. So obviously we're not distorting anything here, so we've switched the distortion on. You could go mental, of course, and then use different ways to hard drive, valve amp. So there's the your, your what's it? Let's switch the modulation on, and this is a mono chorus. Oh, 
Lovely. So you can see it sounds absolutely, it sounds brill. Obviously we can go, let's stay your chorus. Six voice chorus, which is lovely jubbly. Monophalangia, stereophalangia, monophaser, stereophaser. You can sync it anywhere you like. It has a EQ mode and uh, you can sort the, the wave of the actual modulation out, which is very, very cool. Okay, delay, which is on. Set our time. Not sure why that's not working. There you go. It's probably something to do with it being locked on somewhere. And then the EQ, you can set for what, but the simulator. We can choose different, you see, loads of different things from that. This is the actual, the, like the it's a kind of like an amp simulator. So if we like have something we can we can see, I don't know what valleys is, but there you go. And we can skip through them just by touching it. Lovely. sounds let's see some of the oh it sounds effects textures uh keyboard sounds so crisp keys don't know what this sounds like That's nice. And of course, we could switch the arpeggiator on. Select our octaves, up to six octaves, I think. the sound but pretty simple
There's some nice simulations of pianos as well. So if we head on over to that, the effects there, and we switch our, and let's go to six voice chorus, sorry. Let's go to six voice chorus for this. Drag it up a little bit. Lovely jubbly. Okay. So, great sense. What I liked about it was there was a lot of like uh, modern sounds. And um, you know vintage type sounds. This is your program manager here, so you can copy paste. What's really cool about this? You can copy and paste. The, the, they've done something that, that people don't normally do. And people use jazz, where you could just copy paste the sound without all the effects, or just paste the special effects that on one particular patch onto another one and there's a starter program recent and you obviously you can save your altered program uh, options here you can uh, choose to bypass the effects okay so if we switch this on now see no effects there and obviously put them back on uh, we have velocity curve, which is linear, render quality, which is good high precision, I suppose. Uh, running background, it will run in background. It is audio bus and into app audio compatible. You have mini panic, use a manual, take, this will take you to the blog. So your options are pretty good there. I'm not sure about like um, MIDI clock syncing and stuff like that. I have no clue. So someone else will have to sort that one out. Preset there, a jazz organ. Nice. See, it's it's cool. Me a nice one to have a look at the uh, reverb. So if we switch reverb on there, and again, different. Nice compressor on here as well, by the way. I really like the simulator. For all the, everyone who's into impulse response um, stuff, you know, like it, that works well with the reverb. So it'll give the, uh, give you an effect of, of something else. course we have a what that will do when you hit the dice we'll just look for another preset and load it so good way to mess with the samples there the preset sorry 
to 20 minutes now so obviously uh the percussion was cool because you let you um you could build up and there's snares and bass drums and things like that um let's see sequences i'm i'm, I'm presuming that uh these will run with the arpeggiator through a few of these. You can start to adjust as well whilst it's playing without amplification. So. Guys, is a really quick look at oh, it's quick. It's twenty one minutes. It's it does it does a lot. It does a lot. The sounds are great. Five hundred presets. It'll allow you to modulate anything, root anything anywhere. Uh, oh, one thing with the filter. You can link them together. Uh, Z3TA plus or Z3TA plus depending and hope you enjoyed this guys I'll see you later